So we have a quorum with yeah. Cami or with that, with or without, with or without. Okay. Start with us, president, and there's six on the commission. There's six now. Yeah. Well, welcome, Matt, yeah. Commissioner Needler. Yeah. Um, so what we generally do is do the roll call, and uh, if you're comfortable with saying your name and pronouns, that would be great. Um, and we can start with oh, you. Uh, yeah, Matt Needler, uh, he, him. Is that it, or do you, you want to enter that no, or anything? Or? No, we did uh, two sessions ago. Yeah, yeah. I think I was at that meeting. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, and if you're uncomfortable with that, there's, you don't have to do anything you're uncomfortable yeah. with. But if you're comfortable with it, I'll send that again. So we go clockwise. Yeah. Um, just name and introduction, or just name, or yeah, do you want? Uh, well, since that's your first meeting, yeah. if you want. To um, my name is Matt. Like I said, he him. Uh, kind of my first uh, anything with city government or anything like that, or commission or anything. So kind of new to all this. So bear with me a little bit. But um, I work for the Sim Center here for I IU, um, the the healthcare Sim Center where we have mannequins and stuff that we can set up for all kinds of cool things for the doctors and nurses to practice on. Um, I was in the Indiana Guard as a medic for six years, and then I graduated from IEPY, and now I'm working my master's at IU. So, and a little introduction. <laughs> live here, uh, wife, two two small girls that live here, and then I have a son who's here in the summers and weekends and stuff. Awesome. Well, a little welcome. introduction. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the madness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and my name is Nishla Routsong, um, and my pronoun, pronouns are um, she, her, uh, and I've, uh, I guess, introduction for you mostly. Um, I've been a Bloomington resident since my early 20s, um, and I'm a native Hoosier from Northern Indiana. <laughs> Um, and my background, um, my educational background is in politics, business, and economics. Um, uh, and yeah, that's about it. Long time resident. I love Bloomington and care deeply about uh, the people who live here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Commissioner Jason Powell, pronouns he, him, his. Um, I'm currently all but dissertation in a PhD program of rhetoric. Uh, my dissertation is focusing on Ordinance 2106, which would have allowed camping in the public parks, but rather than focusing on the politics of it, I'm looking at how the community had conversations, right? And so like, that's the ivory tower version. This serving on the commission is on the ground, the actually being in the community. Um, growing up, uh, I'm an Eagle Scout. I've always been civically engaged, but like, uh, this was my first um, government thing. So, as as somebody who has newly participated, I would say this is a good level to start. If this is what I was hoping for. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I'm Commissioner Brian Miller, um, native of Bloomington, not a transplant. Um, not the transplants are bad because that makes a lot makes up a lot of Bloomington. Um, <clears throat> I've always been active in the community as far as um, equal rights, civil rights, uh, human human rights. Um, I introduced back in the late eighties the first LGBTQ uh, AI plus business. Uh, in a five state radius to Indiana and Indiana um, that um, helped people have conversation about those issues, particularly. And uh, I also care deeply for our community. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing introductions. Um, Commissioner Brown Sparks, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, we're also, and I am she, they pronouns. Um, and if you're comfortable sharing your pronouns, that's great too. Um, 
My name is Kamala Brown Sparks. I'm from Bloomington, Indiana. Um, when, when I'm at the hospital, I always joke when they ask me, do I know my birthday? I always say I was born at 6.31 p.m. on a Wednesday at, at the old Bloomington Hospital. Um, <laughs> And then I say, the police rushed in when I was born. And they're always like, <gasps> and then I say, my dad was the first black police officer. So there wasn't anything bad going on. It was okay. Um, I have always done things that involve social justice when I lived here as a teenager, when I lived in Terre Haute as a parent. Um, I started a group called Hands Around Crawford. It was a neighborhood school that they were trying to close and I organized the parents to try and keep it open and the neighborhood association backed us. And when I came back to Bloomington, I guess there were more people that needed things to be done and I tried to reach out and help them too. I started Black Kippy Chicks Blankets for B-Town. So here I am now trying to help everybody in Bloomington that's marginalized and that isn't marginalized because everybody has a voice in Bloomington and they all need to be heard. Thank you. Okay, so I wonder, that's, that's roll call. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five of us, um, and not present today is uh, Commissioner uh, Ford, um, who oh, wasn't. I didn't take time to read the class. Class got extended. Class got extended mm -hmm. So uh, we'll miss uh, miss her. Um, okay. Um, so looking at the agenda, um, hopefully everybody's had a chance to just look over it a little bit. Is there anything we want to? amend or change on it before we move to a motion to approve. Make sure to look at the second page. I almost did. Motion to approve the agenda. Anybody want to second that? I'll second. Oh, if you want to second that, yeah, sure. Your first yeah. I'll second that. Okay, so now we are moving to approval of the uh, minutes from February 6, 2023. That should be in the packet. Did you take a vote on it? Oh. I, you're right, I didn't. Uh, all those in favor say, uh, uh, actually, uh, is there anybody who, we've been doing it differently. I don't think I've been wording that. Just asking if there's any objections, I think. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Any objections to the, to the minutes? I mean, to the agenda? Seeing none, uh, that motion carries. Mm -hmm. uh, and thank you. Um, moving on to the minutes from February 23rd, February 6th, 2023, which are in your packet. Nice thorough minutes. And is it in here or am I just not seeing it where I said I would reach out? I would, uh, not everyone. The people present uh, in person had said that they had tried to contact Mary Morgan and had a hard time. I know that they've met since with her, but 
Is that in the minutes somewhere? Um, that I go ahead and reach out to her. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> There's not a page number. Um, oh, that's right. There's no the, page number. The third, the third, third page. Thank um, you. Right in the middle about guest speakers. Excellent. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it was in there because I know we had talked about it. I think uh, Commissioner Brown Sparks, you had already left the meeting. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's there. Okay. Make it easier when we get to that agenda item. Uh, anyway. Motion to approve the minutes. Second that motion. <laughs> Thanks, you two. Um, do we have any reports from? Oh, thank you. Sorry, it's still back first a little. Oh, I see. 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 Oh, um, and I'm so used to calling each a uh, yeah, voice vote, so the yeah. whole new thing is different to me. So I'm still not sure exactly how you ordered that. Could you repeat that? Oh, and then you just asked if there's any objections, and if there's no objection, no objections. So are there any objections to the to the minutes? Seeing none, that motion carries. Oh, oh is there was there something? You're muted, Kim. Can't hear you. I, you're muted. You're muted. Still can't hear you. No. There we go. Yeah. I actually cannot find the packet in my email. Can someone? Oh, did you know? just send that today? Yes. And. Look, look, um, look this morning, or yeah, she said, uh, uh, they sent that this morning. And in case you didn't hear them, they said they would send it again right now. <laughs> It's a large document, they said, so it might take a second. Let's see. You might also be able to download it from the website. I got, got it. it. So let's give, give you a few seconds to read. Uh, it starts on page two, the minutes. You want to? Well, those over so then we can know if you have any objections before we move on. And thanks for pointing that out. I have a hard time turning my head that direction often. Stick or going that way than this way. Mm -hmm. Regulation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that, John?
any new members of the public here today? Mm -hmm. I agree. I vote to approve this. Okay. So um, after we had uh, a motion and a second, um, looks like everybody agrees to approve the minutes. Let's see, co chair reports. Um, Commissioner Brown Sparks, do you have anything that you would like to report in that category? I know we have a lot of categories today. Um, I think that we need to work on our interpersonal relationships more and the ways that we communicate with one another. Okay, I agree. Good. Um, I see on the, the agenda, that we have, uh, I think we have, let's see. I think uh, we new business. Be one. Yeah, I'm planning to make a motion on that topic later on in the meeting. Yeah, and we have some other, yeah, we, we're gonna hopefully have a, a good discussion about it. So, so under seven, Okay. Um, anything else on the co-chair stuff? I actually don't know that I have time to be the co-chair because I just have gone through two treatments of my chemotherapy that I take to keep my disease in control and I'm really tired. Okay. Okay. Um, does anybody have time to do? There's not much to it. We're all now that Ash does so much of the work. It's really just kind of running the meeting. Would, uh, you, would you like to step down as co chair? I would. I mean, okay. I'm really tired. You're really tired. Yeah. I remember, I remember yeah. I, just, I don't think I could have done it. <laughs> Very German. Excuse me. I said I don't think I could have done it during any treatment. I move I moved to add to new business to um, elect a new co chair. <clears throat> I'll second that. Any uh, objections? Seeing none, that motion carries. Um, let's, you want to dive into that now? Let's dive into that now. Um, anybody want to throw their towel in, through the towel in for being a co chair with me? Um, there's going to be two more after this one. To explain to you, we do revolving chairs. Okay. So each co-chair does it for three months. Okay. And there's two um, each time. Okay. That makes sense. So, and I had extended, asked you, and you had already said you were too busy. That's that still stick. Yes. Okay. And Commissioner Brown, as far as we know, can't it doesn't have the energy right now. How about you? Well, I've done it like five times. Um, right? <laughs> and you a lot go on. <laughs> and I'm on like the five or I'm on the three chips committees and I'm on the Monroe County History Center. African American committee, and I'm I'm kind of busy in my little house. <laughs> so 
So this would be for this would be for April um, and May. Yes, the remainder of April and May. More than happy to help, but I'm my first one, so I don't know how good of a chair I would be or to help, but I'm more than happy to help. What it is 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 just doing what I'm doing really right now. Um, Commissioner Brown Sparks had asked before that whoever was helping was running the meeting, and then she, uh, she would also co chair behind the scene. And that's, so that's what we were doing, but I, I get not having the energy. Um, so that leaves either you or you. And I'm more than happy to, but like I said, I'm very new to all this, but I would do my best and help out where I can. Okay. Commissioner Miller's pretty adept. <laughs> I think she would be a good coach. Maybe, yeah. maybe a good, yeah, um, taking under your wing. For the, the other thing that's involved in that is just uh, being in contact with Ash. Right. And setting the agenda, but then just running through it, no big pressure. And lately, I think people are really good about just <clears throat> adding to the agenda what everybody wants to have on it. So it's more uh, inclusive of everybody's desire to talk about what we all want to talk about. Okay. So it's not just so we're going to only talk about this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy to then. And that's taking that. time to evolve to that. Yeah. Okay. It didn't, it didn't start out that way, but I'm glad it has evolved to that. Well, thank you. Um, I think we do we need to vote on every single thing now to, just to have a record of it? So if you, if you vote on the budget, then you need to process. I would recommend doing that. Okay. Motion um, to make uh, Commissioner. Needler. Sorry. Needler. 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 Yeah. Motion to make Commissioner Needler co chair until the end of May, along with co chair Miller. I'll second that. See, do I see any objections to that? Oh, there's a hand up. Do you object? No. Okay. But, all right. So, seeing no objections, that, do you want to discuss before we carry that motion? No, I was. She was just voting yes. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, seeing no objections to that, welcome. All right. Awesome. And I may I assume that uh, Commissioner Needler's already on the emails now? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, I only have, I'll, I'll email you um, a copy of this. Uh, it's, it has to do with uh, New Leaf, New Life sent out a um, survey to the inmates in jail. And uh, those are the survey results. It was approximately 46 people. And I say approximately because not, all 46 people answered each question. Um, and I passed that on specifically to the one working group that uh, I thought that might be beneficial for. Um, Is there a page missing? There might be. It starts at 17 here. I didn't know if there were, I see zero food. I just didn't know if it started at 17 and that's where it was supposed to start or? Seven, uh, it just starts right there. I didn't know if you go this page to that page. I didn't know if there was a. Do you have this one? No, I did not. Awesome. Thank you. Well, does, do you have three pages now? No, I've got, I've got two. So is yours a duplicate of this? So do you have the one that's 15 through this one? Yeah, that's what I was missing. No. Oh, sorry about that. That's actually very really important for you to have. And you have three now, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, I didn't, they aren't numbered either, which makes it more complicated. Anyway, what, what it shows is, is what, well, it shows the questions that were asked and then um, what was most important to people and um, 38, I'm going to go just to the high numbers, not to discount the lower numbers, um, but <clears throat> Uh, obtaining birth certificates, driver's license, um, and obtaining personal ID documents was really important. Uh, 
life skills. 38 people said that was important. Problem solving, which included problem solving, creative, creating resumes, filling out job applications. Uh, and then 46 people said creating a re-entry plan was extremely important, and that was the highest. Um, and I do know that some of these things exist in programming um, with our agencies. Uh, the, uh, the Beacon does that. Mm -hmm. uh, they help with um, all of those things other than the re-entry plan, really. Um, and then there's some other organizations uh, that also do that. I know that Hotels for Homeless also does the uh, documents, helps with documents. Um, but anyway, I just thought having this data of what people are saying as they're coming out of jail might help. So there you go. Um, so in everybody's collective um, work, that might be helpful. So anyway, that's all I have for that coacher report. You can give an electronic copy to me. I sure will. Yeah, and I'll get one to uh, to uh, Commissioner Brown Spark. And I'm sorry to get that too soon, uh, Cammie. Um, do we have any reports from the public or public comment? You want to ask that, Ash? Um, I don't know. Yeah, 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 there is a great report. Pardon? You skipped over individual member reports. Oh, I did. Yeah. Sorry, starting today. Um, are there any individual reports today? I have. I have a report. Wonderful. Let's hear. Um, so, as you will remember, this commission used to have an all policing working group uh, that we formed our very first year in 2020. Um, and as a reminder, here's the presentation that we created in that working group, which is also included in the notes of the packet, which Ash is going to display before us. It's in the packet, you said? Well, it's in this, yeah. It's in the okay. printed one that you just sent out. Yeah, there it is. So as a reminder, this is the working group, and this is the plan that we created in that working group. Oh, yeah. Um, we can go to the next slide very quickly, just to remind everyone, the mission reduced crime costs and injustice. <clears throat> next slide. Uh, the goals of the group were to recommend a community-led alternative policing program based on the principles of decriminalization of poverty, human dignity, racial equity, harm reduction, and restorative justice. Number two, to empower our community to have maximum control of the program design, implementation, and oversight. And three, to ensure sustainability through detailed recommendations for budgeting plans, institutional partners, staffing, and key performance indicators. Next slide. I'm not gonna read these, but um, this shows the process steps that we agreed to take. Um, and we very shortly after um, creating this plan, in fact, I think it's even in the in this presentation, the last slide, we decided to dissolve the working group so that we could better do the research as individuals so that we didn't have to come together and meet to do our work. Um, and so that kind of gives you an idea of the steps. Next slide, please. And then this is showing the stages that we agreed to, research and analysis, community outreach and engagement. And so we're basically, um, I think at this point, myself anyway, I've done a lot of individual research and I've been talking to other people um, who used to be on the working group who are still doing research. Um, and uh, at this point, I would like to make a motion uh, to that the commission create a special committee for the express purpose of completing the outreach and report stage of this work. Um, and so the special committee will have three members, myself, Pamela Brown-Sparks, Jason McCulloch, and will cease to exist once the report is delivered to the commission. Uh, the special committee, <clears throat> special committees have all the same privileges and responsibilities as standing committees. The only difference being that they are temporary and are formed for completing a specific purpose within a specific time frame. We seek to carry out the same plan that the alternative 
to public safety or alternative to policing working group proposed three years ago, and we would like to see it through to completion in the next few months. Um, and so would you mind putting the text up for the motion to create the alternative public safety yeah. special committee now? So they have, oh, I sorry, I'm just not, I'm almost finished. Oh, okay. I, I heard you make a motion and I also- I haven't made it yet, sorry. Oh. In that context, I now make a motion which I'm reading off of this, to create the Alternative Public Safety Outreach Special Committee to conduct community outreach related to alternative public safety in March and April, including managing all official CAPS outreach on this topic with Bloomington Police Department during this time, organize and hold a public event in April at the Monroe County Public Library, facilitated by Community Justice and Mediation Center, to gather key stakeholder feedback and prepare a report to deliver to the commission in May that summarizes the findings of individual research, outreach, and events. Are there any questions or discussion? I have discussion. I'd like to know more about it, actually. I, it, sounds, it sounds interesting. Um, I also think maybe possibly um tabling this until tabling the vote until um commissioner ford is here to also have her input might be nice um i know that she's wanted to really be here um but um, i do have some questions um just this is the this is the public safety committee working group Right. It's kind of safety outreach special committee. So, so again, it's not a working group. It's not a standing committee. Um, it's a special committee, which is only time. It's only brought together for right. a specific time frame and a specific purpose. So, I guess my my questions are: the whole commission is having to do with public safety, and so my concern is is that we don't throw everything under this committee and only have some things in it. And so then the rest of the commission is still able to move freely and work with, with topics. And it doesn't all just get referred to this one committee. Does that make sense? Yeah, so um, this would actually, um, the only things the special committee would do is to conduct community outreach related to alternative public safety in March and April, including managing all official CAPS outreach on this topic with the community and with community BPD during right. this time. Right. So that is one of my questions because we as a commission had made quite we we had this long list of questions and we all had the questions. And I want to make sure that all of those questions are included because it was a collective list of questions. And if it's not, I think I would like to know what the questions are and which ones are being left out so they can still be asked. Does that make sense? I know it makes sense. Um, there's some very specific questions over the last year and a half, two years that we posed together as a commission that we wanted to ask Bloomington Police Department. So if those questions stay the same as what we had hoped to pass today to vote on as a commission as the whole as a whole, and I know Commissioner Ford had wanted to vote for those because we had talked in many meetings about those questions um, and worked specifically together to make those questions. Uh, uh, they're not here. She's not here today to be able to vote on it. Um, so I, I just want to make sure the same questions are going to be posed and we get the answers to those as a commission as a whole and not just them getting stuck in committee and in a silo where we don't ever see the answers to the questions we all created. Um, well, so to that, um, I'm not sure what the questions would be since we haven't 
met or arranged a meeting yet. Um, but I don't think they would be the same questions that were in that document. Mm -hmm. um, and I would suggest that if anyone on the commission has a question for BPD during this time on another topic, that they should feel free to contact BPD with those questions. But that our work and the questions that we would be asking BPD would be specifically guided by uh, the research that the individuals on the special committee have done and on the planned future outreach and events that we uh, plan to. Because the whole reason of our doing the outreach is um, to have successful events with the community. Mm -hmm. that makes so, sense. Um, yeah, I would suggest that any other questions, I mean, I think what, if we form the special committee, once we have the questions, um, we could definitely share that with the commission. And that way, you know, anyone on the commission could see what they are and know that if their question isn't included, um, that they can feel free to contact them on their own to get those questions answered. So I think in our agenda, thank you for answering that uh, or explaining that a little. There, somewhere on here, we had, uh, so you jumped in because it was your individual presentation. We actually have on the agenda the topic BPD, and we're finalizing approval of the questions to send to Chief Default. And I think that's why this is going to be muddied a little bit when we get down to here. If if we were to approve that, what happens to this? I would suggest, and I was planning to suggest, um, that if this motion passes uh -huh. to create this special committee, that um, that we don't need to discuss approving these questions as a commission for BPD, as our committee, our special committee is now working on this, and that people on the commission should work with the special committee if they have questions, particularly concerning alternative public safety programming. Having not necessarily to do with some of the questions that we had asked, um, because one of the questions we'd asked is what, what if any, um, things are being done to make sure we don't have police officers that are white supremacists or we're not uh, engaged in. And I don't know who threw that question in, in the um, January 6th insurrection. Like I said, I don't know who threw that one in um, to that list of questions, but I was, I was curious about the answers. So would those types of questions be part of what you would be asking? Or would those be some of the questions that might be left out? I mean, I'm not sure because we, we're not yeah, on the special committee yet. to right. speak for like an entire committee that's not formed yet. Well, there's the three of you are here and you kind of probably know a little bit about what you're thinking and what you don't. I mean, I personally don't think um, that that question pertains to the work um, and the research that I know I've done so far on this topic, and, it's, and it also does not seem to work towards creating a collaborative event um, that would have wide community acceptance. I kind know of what I was thinking, but I didn't want to put that those words in your mouth. So. But again, I, I can't speak for a committee that's not formed. Right. So I still want those questions answered as a sitting commissioner, and I know others want that question answered. So I think we will probably still, I'll probably vote or have a ask to table that until Commissioner Ford's here, but we, we haven't gotten to that yet. So just to make sure I'm caught up to speed. So for step one, you've done individual research and the special committee would be just what your, or would it be you, the groups, each one of your special, what you focused on or? The special committee would be oh, to pull all of our research together. Okay. Because uh, the, we were working in a working group, and that was basically limiting us because of all the rules where you have to meet publicly here. Does it say specifically what this? And so we decided to disband since we were just doing research, mm -hmm. and we can just do that individually. Um, but now we're at the point where we want to do community outreach officially and have okay. public events and things like that and yet basically we're at the outreach stage okay. and so yes we would be pulling in 
Um, I know Jason and Cami have also done a lot on this topic. Um, we'll be pulling in all of our work um, and moving forward. Would the full commission see what you guys have been researching or? In the, I'm just in the report okay. at the end, okay. we wouldn't have any say or any voting or any. We didn't have to be say over the research that you did with Jason or the stuff that you right. did with right. Shelby. So, right. It's yeah, the usual it's course. It's the same. Yeah, it. the usual way. All right, I'm just trying to see if I'm trying to explain what's happening. Yeah, no, I was trying to explain. It's not, what do you think we're going to sneak in with the police chief? I mean, right. right. Like, so, you, you act like you're like, you want to know if the police are white supremacists. And the way you speak I don't want to know if the police are white supremacists. Believe me, I want to know if there are white supremacists on the police force where I live. But I also want there to be somewhat of a positive relationship with the police force where we can build up a, a trustful relationship with some people in the police force. And because if we have that going, where there is a relationship, where there is trust with some people in the police department, maybe some of them will come and say, you know what? There's some white supremacists in the police force. And I know because homeboy asked me, do you want to go to the, the cross elimination party? Okay, so had you made a motion? You had yeah, made I did. I mean, I don't know you had. Okay, so was there a second to that motion? Yep. All right, All right. Sorry, was the discussion finished? Was it? Yes, discussion finished. Were you finished with your were you, comment? Were you finished with your comment? I'm finished. I would like to make a second. Okay. 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 Um, any further discussion? I guess it's just so if you're going forward with just those individual ones within the group, the whole one still be moving forward with their stuff. Is that how this works? Like once individuals have done research and sorry, I'm wait, hope I'm not wasting time. I think yeah, I think that, yeah, that's the way we've we've done it in the past. I was just, for your questions you, that you were asking that, that all the other questions that we're gonna be look, looking at going on, the, that will still move forward and this will be a separate thing also moving forward. Yeah. I mean, yeah, those other questions still could move forward. Yeah. That's just not within the purview of the special committee. It's in something that was also in Commissioner Gatsong's presentation is there used to be a committee on alternatives to policing. Mm -hmm. They got turned into the working group. And so this was work that had been going on for... Um, then, yeah, and so I just wanted to point out that this special committee would just be fi finishing that work that we all agreed and that they had already, yeah, had already been working on. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to play a little catch up with me. Yeah, it, there is a lot of catching up to do. So, and then we would present the report to the commission, and at that time, the commission can weigh in and you know have right. discussions and things like that, uh, and, and vote on it. So, we had a motion to create a committee. Um, that I'm going to assume for the sake of ODL law, ODL is open door laws, yeah. won't, won't be meeting on a regular schedule. They know the rules. Um, do you know the rules on that? I do not, so. <laughs> okay. Would you like to touch on that with more of these commissioners before we go forward, just so he understands? I think it's important for him to understand how the dynamics work. Right, so I mean, I, I sent um, you know, long list of onboarding materials that I right. sent. Um, there's stuff in there about the open door law and the access to public record that okay. um, governing bodies, the city, um, is subject to both of those. Um, OPL basically means that all meetings of a majority of a governing body have to be noticed and open to the public. Um, and governing body also includes uh, committees that have been given. Um, a uh, authority from the governing body itself. So commissions are, that's why they're doing today with, um, right. you know, CATS TV uh, broadcasting as well. Um, so uh, any committee, whether it's a standing committee or a special committee, I may have, um, I guess you had a question about the difference between those two. Okay. Yeah, standing committee, they, they 
committees that exist for um, kind of broad purposes that are created by the uh, commission to, to do certain things. The special committee only exists for specific tasks. So I think, you know, um, Nation's motion is, you know, they have a specific task they want to do, and once that task is over, the committee ceases to exist. Okay. Um, and then in the meetings of that special committee of um, a majority uh, take official uh, action on the public to assess the festival. Um, you know, it's open to the public. I can assist with posting notices, um, agendas, and getting into new set up with Zoom. Um, and uh, so, yeah, if you have any other questions about that, y'all let me know. Thank you. And thank you for that. I have one more question. Um, maybe other people have questions too. Um, but I know I have one more question before we take a formal or informal vote on that, may, uh, creating the committee to work on specifics. Um, the, what was it called? The event planning, um, that's just the planning of it. And then is it maybe, it's, this might be hard to answer since you haven't, don't have a committee go up and running. Um, will it then include the whole commission in the event or is your, is your vision to just have your committee at the event? Um, would, I think all the way I it was, be, would all of us commissioners be included? I think the way I worded it was to organize and plan the event. Uh, but certainly, I think it would be a public event open to the public, including the commission. Uh, organize and hold a public event. So yeah, it would be just the special commission organizing and holding the event. Okay. Um, certainly the entire commission would be invited to attend. So what you're asking for is permission from the whole commission to hold the event, which would possibly mean asking for funding and then have the event without the rest of the commission. That's what I what I wanted the clarity on. So thank you. Well, I don't first even of all, though we can come. Yeah, because it's just funding. Topic. I don't think there is any funding that we could ask for. Um, Maybe. so I suppose theoretically, I guess, but I don't think there is any funding that we would ask for. But um, in any case, yes, we would be organizing and holding it as a special committee. Okay. And the rest of the commission would be happy, would be welcome to attend. And would they be invited then? Sounds they like they would be invited, yes. That would be good since it's since it has to do with caps as a whole. So that's why it's 2930. So thank you for that. Uh, I, I was thinking that all of us would be there and like have cookies or whatever for the people that come because you know even bougie people like cookies so oh i can't have molasses cookies i just i just realized i'm allergic to salt bites and so i can't have molasses cookies now oh, we have to okay. buy a well, cookie for that well, we, we all have cookies <laughs> 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 have a lot of salt bites in it that's maple syrup We'll have to think of something else. Oh, yeah, certainly everyone on the commission would be invited. We'll have to change the place. But then if it's completely free on the stage. I'll give this clarification. If the special committee is approved and holds this event, the event will be presented as an event organized by the special committee of the commission. So the commission, all the, the full commission would be invited but it would be presented as an event held by the commission, but by the special committee. I think that's hopefully the way that the questions to BPD would be presented as just the committee's questions, not the commission as a whole. Yeah. So is that kind of the same thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, all the outreach would be uh, presented for as a special committee. Small, mm -hmm. small groups. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Their clarification of the level that we've been talking about is um, we can do individual outreach as commissioners. Um, we can also, this is a different model of uh, special committee or approved committee can do something yeah. that doesn't have to be posted. Um, and events require being a committee. 
Okay. And it's really good actually that we're having this kind of clear discussion mm -hmm. because I think it helps everybody know the lines and boundaries and and allowances for movement without having maybe interpersonal conflict mm -hmm. that sometimes arises. And I love that we're having this. This helps a lot. So thank you everybody for that. Um, well, that was my last question. Any other questions? Or comments? I think I need to make the reparations group a committee again or a special committee at the least because they want us to help co-host the genealogy event. Oh, could we, could, sorry, could we finish taking a vote on this special committee first? Oh, yeah. We, we, we need to vote yeah. on this now. Sorry. It's okay, I'm writing that down so I won't forget. I'm just, I, I, just I, yeah, I just wanted that's to, the kind of day I'm just to get it. Yeah. And and it might be one of those things we add if hopefully if it's if it's okay with you we may yeah. add that add under ideas for the next agenda maybe yeah for new business yeah, yeah. yeah. so make make a note of that so in case I forget I have got it written down but you know eh, the brain um thank you for that Commissioner Brownsburg okay so we had a motion. We had a second. Um, I'd like to take a voice call on this one, just for the record. Um, so would you like to repeat the, the motion just for clarity's sure. sake, would you mind? I make a motion to create the Alternative Public Safety Outreach Special Committee to conduct community outreach related to alternative public safety in March and April, including managing all official CAPS outreach on this topic with VPD during this time. Organize and hold a public event in April at the MCPL facilitated by CJAM to gather key stakeholder feedback and prepare a report to deliver to the commission in May that summarizes the findings of our individual research, outreach, and events. Oh, shoot, I missed the understanding the CJAM um, part, the, the part of that that goes in there. So if, I'm sorry, I'm gonna ask what that part means for this specific um, yeah, so selection of we're, we're asking to um, be able to organize an event um, at the public library that would be open to the public and that we would collaborate with CJAN if they okay. would agree to help to facilitate that event, okay. uh, to work as facilitators. They're the uh, local conflict resolution and mediation nonprofit. Okay. Awesome. They actually started as a group for jail reform. But uh, mm -hmm. anyway, yeah. Well, they never got back to us when we were doing some. Yeah, stuff. actually, I've tried to continue that. Um, I'm going to reach out to them. Yeah. On so, that. so anyway, um, voice vote. Do you, do you want to vote on that motion? I make a motion to second. So now we're voting. Oh, we yes. The motion and the second. So now it's yay, yes or no? Yes. Okay. You? Yes. 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 And yes. It's very good that we have a full approval to that of the people that are here. So, with that clarification, it was nice that we didn't need to take it back. So, thanks for the patience and the answering questions. Um, any other individual reports? Um, I will say, so I've been doing work with, um, a group that's, uh, trying to form civil conversations about the mayoral candidates. Um, and a uh, sentiment that was expressed there that I think is important is no matter who we support or oppose in, in terms of office, but also in terms of our neighbors, they all have things that we like and dislike about them. So it's good to note that nobody is fully perfect, nobody is fully evil, that we focus on issues, not on people. Um, 
I think that was uh, a good sentiment raised. Um, and especially when we're thinking about marginalized communities, if we're not part of a community, the way we engage with them is to not expect them to be perfect or not mark them as terrible, but just, just to embrace them as a fellow citizen. So you're working on with others working with the candidates or just so that's specifically a group led by somebody um so that is not actually involved with the, the politics of it it's just a uh, civic discussion uh the person who's leading that group uh and that's through my church i'm a part of the unitarian universalist congregation oh, um and somebody who is uh trained in uh braver angels um who's talking about how we have those dialogues so yeah braver angels mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of our churches too. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I just haven't seen you there. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, thank you. Any other? I think that might wrap it up. So we can move on to research committee report, which Shelby was going to give. Um, can we hold off on that until next month? Or is there something you can think of that's really looming? I think we're probably okay until next month. Yeah. Because the work continues, unless you think there's something really that the rest of the people really need to know. The only thing I'll report on is later and un unfinished in the start program. Okay. Just kind of what I was thinking, but I didn't want to yeah. hold you back if there was something. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Uh, staff, do you have anything to report? Um, I just want to say welcome to the new member. I know the time everyone responds uh, first Monday, 12 30. I didn't know what was going to eventually talk about it that it's going to be considering um, without the membership. One of those is class right now. So that might be a perfect later. But other than that, welcome. And if anyone has any questions about anything you need any administrative support, we'll be reach out. Thank you. So is that, did everybody that got the text um, from Shelby, it's you. Um, so it says, it says uh, she's had a bad news. I don't think I'll be able to make it to the meeting. My class changed the schedule until 1.30. I don't know if that's just for today um, or if that's ongoing. I can't really tell if that was just for today. Um, by that text. So, so we'll have to follow up. We'll follow up and, and get back. Um, and we may have to <clears throat> I, I was, reschedule, yeah, but was, this is a great time for me. It's not the best for me because I work, you know, seven to seven to three, seven to four ish, Monday through Friday. Okay. Um, I was looking ahead at all the proposed dates and I didn't see a problem coming up, but it is just me having to be like, all right, I'm going to leave for a few hours at work. And my boss has been okay with it, but. Right. I don't know if it's like for two years straight, I can, yeah, I'm just gonna leave for a few hours, or, you know. I don't know about everybody else, um, but yeah, I work. Right, you know, yeah, the, me too. Yeah. Um, so it usually the way it yeah. works is we vote once one at the beginning of the year. Okay. Um, on sure. everybody's calendar to see what works. Okay. And then we yeah, share. We did, we did, that's good, but we can do it again. Yeah, we can. Yes, yeah, I, I didn't know from the next, whenever the next vote be, it's all. So, so what I was saying was there, yeah. there, were, there is a table okay. of availability. Mm -hmm. um, so if Ash could okay. share that table with you and you could insert your best availability, okay. that would help us all to then maybe change ours a little or we could tweak everybody could tweak their schedules to see if we could find a better time going forward i know that i have put in for vacation times and everything else around this whole year already That's right. including, in. in, well, including, including yeah. flights yeah. Um, airplane flights yeah. airline flights um, and a, a 20th wedding anniversary coming up and even adopting a new dog because i just lost my I love a dog not too long ago. Um, so, anyway, uh, I just suggested that the option was there to be a member and to have input in their abilities. So. Thank you. So, she, so, yeah. looking, so they are going to send that and then 
we can all look at it again. Yep, sounds good. Thank you. And maybe we'll come up with something. And sometimes you have to miss meetings. So um, so I may have to miss um, everybody else does. Um, so how was that? Uh, brief recess is right now. We take 10 minutes. I'm going to take it. I don't know if anybody else is going to take it, but I'm going to take it. There is no one from the public except us. I'm so. going to take it. Be back in 10. So I know there's not an official ending time on this, but could we maybe put for things to discuss in the future, adding an ending time? Because I feel like the meetings might be run a little differently if there was an ending time than if there's not. Um, but I have the rumors of everything. Yeah. But I mean, I just like to put that on the agenda. I, I actually had mentioned it before, and I'm not sure what happened to it because I thought we did have an ending time of two o'clock mm -hmm. at one point, but it's it like it fell off. Yeah, so I'd like to. I'd like. Well, is it is it officially at two? So yeah, let's add that to the agenda from now on. Yeah, it should be two. But I have the rumors are particularly. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So next time, let's just put that on the agenda as a reminder to everyone. The <laughs> other commission on the ending time is on there, and it. It just makes it easier for the person running the meeting to do it in a way that makes it's sense. Two, it's two. It's two. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I just reserved the room at two thirty just in case because I didn't want someone who's like coming in to set up at one fifty. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I've had that happen before. Where Cass tries to come in and set up, and it's like, oh, we're not done. Not that I don't love you all, but. <laughs> You all went silent. Yeah, I'm just reading some of the. Uh, <laughs> then I just have a, I guess, another clarification question. Hopefully, I'm not being annoying with all the questions. But so there's the research committee, and is that like under the whole commission? And then they do the, does the commission assign what to research, or is it just the individual's passion? Like, so it's basically the individual's passion. It's okay. like well, whoever's in the research committee, um, they decide. Like it's kind of like R and D in a company. Like, okay. what new innovative things might we do that we're not already doing on our okay. commission? And then if they find promising things, then they forward it to other committees that are working on them, and or to the commission. Um, so yeah, but it doesn't have to strangle hold that all of the research. That right. Obviously, have. other committees do research as well. Yeah, right. since Commissioner Ford is doing individual research for class mm -hmm. and also bring that to the commission. Okay. And cool. then the three of us, Jason, Cammy, and myself, have done individual research on the alternative public safety program that we're now turning into the special committee. Awesome. <laughs> My asthma's doing so much better. I'm so proud. Oh, I just got hey. like a yeah, allergy. you can breathe like, now. <laughs> people with asthma. What? You can breathe now. You sound so much better. <laughs> yeah, actually, about, I think a big part of it was realizing that I'm allergic to salt bites and cutting that out completely, but mostly from medication. Because what happened is my oh. doctors have prescribed me things like Mucinex. And uh, Nasonex and Flonase, and all of those like immediately sent me to ER with uh, anaphylaxis. Oh, no. And uh, and then at ER, they're like, oh, you're having an asthma attack because I have asthma. And then I finally Googled it and realized like this is sulfites, and sulfites are in all of those things, and they're also in many common foods oh. and drinks. So, and they make seasonal allergies worse for people who have, and it's very, it's, it's like 
five times as common in people with asthma to have awesome. this allergy. Yeah. So anyway, I finally realized all that and I'm like doing so much better now. But you did to get us focused on the allergy. Yeah. Because I got a test before and I'm allergic to more stuff because I've gone into anaphylactic down and I'm like it is not oh. fun. Yeah, it's not fun. I have I've used two EpiPens in the last year, so yeah, it's not fun. And like one of the things I'm allergic to are these little baby ants. So like my oh, yeah, you said the ants. Yeah, the ant bites. That's horrible. It's horrible. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And like my landlord had them come out and put the ant trap. And like I didn't realize there was an ant trap there and I stepped on it. Mm. That's bad. It was like, yeah, that was like immediately my lips started swelling up and like, oh my gosh, it was so horrible. My friend from like elementary school came and he was like, You look like Kamala. I was like, oh, <laughs> It's so horrible. I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed that day. My kids were like, You look like you did the Kylie Jenner lip challenge and lost. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out, amend, possibly amend the uh, agenda because we only have, by the time we reconvene here in a few seconds, we'll only have 10 minutes. We have an hour and a half meetings or extend the meeting. So, one of two, because we still have a lot. And I really was trying to keep moving. Dad, time management that everybody had input and I had questions that I thought were important too. So for, for my clarity. Oh all right. And I'm not sure I can extend for very long. So today. So anyway, just before we start again. <laughs> Although there was nobody in public anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter when we reconvene, does it? We could just start again. Yeah, I was gonna say you want to restart now or earlier at this present Friday. Yes, are you there? I'm here just a minute. Sorry. It's okay. I just don't want to don't want to leave you out. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Are we waiting for something to she, be the meeting? Well, she said just a minute. So I was waiting for her to say she was ready. I wasn't yes. even looking up. I wasn't even looking up. Are you ready, Cammy? Oh, I'm ready. I didn't know uh, you were waiting for me. Sorry. Yes. Yes, I was. Uh, okay. I just sorry. want to make everybody make sure everybody's ready. Okay, so um, on the unfinished business is the start program. Um, we were doing that working as a commission now, sharing things um but i also said i think we might have to carve down the agenda because we only have 15 minutes left of time so um if we look at the agenda what's left is there something we can take out for, for now I, we have to talk at least briefly about uh, guest speaker or not uh, because i've talked to her about that for next month. Um, and I would like to discuss the um, the conflict resolution working agreements, B, B2. B2, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I would like to also, so that's good. I would move to uh, table the BPD discussion. Uh, we can do that. Till next month, since those questions you said particularly, Shelby wants to talk about them. 
Well, I think she just wanted to be a part of the discussion for sure. And I think we kind of uh, and left her out of part of that. I heard that she's just not here and we needed to move forward with it in some ways, so. Um, and I think we could table the START program discussion for next month, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, I do think that the or it's gonna take some time for seven, so um, all the things under seven. So, um, could I get a motion that we table a few of these things? And then we'll motion be more clear. to table everything under six to next month. I have a second. second. Yeah, second. Any objections? No. Seeing no objections, that motion carries. Um, and I suspect I suspect that'll be a brief discussion when we do have it. Just kind of get a work around there. Um, not that that's bad, um, but it is what it is. Um, other business, let's just get going because I just sit here all day trying to figure out what to, to eliminate and that'll take time. Yeah. <laughs> so we've decided to wait on six. Uh, Moving on, um, so in the meeting, maybe it was the last meeting, um, I had, we were talking about guest speakers and guest speakers, we bring guest speaker ideas to the table and say, hey, I've got an idea. And then um, we vote on whether or not that person is somebody that we want to have as a guest speaker. Um, and again, um, Commissioner Ford, isn't here to vote on this guest speaker. Um, she had already said she, in our research meeting, we had talked about, do we really still wanna have Mary Morgan and the uh, assistant um, director from Heading Home uh, be a guest speaker at the commissioner for is isn't here to vote. Um, and she had said she'd still kind of like to do that even though everybody's kind of reaching out to, to Mary Morgan, who's the director, uh, more, she's more formal title for her. I think, there, I'm guessing it's not very controversial to, in the interest of time, we might just make a motion to have her as the next guest speaker. Mm -hmm. I think it might be beneficial to have her and her assistant because her assistant has a lot to offer too. Would you like to make that motion? Um, yes, yes. I'll make a motion that we have Mary and Tariana uh, uh, be the guest speakers. I for think our it is that we have Mary and Tatiana. Okay, so uh, any objections? There is that. Yeah, I can get it. Um, any objections? Seeing none, that motion carries. So Mary and uh, Ariana will be uh, guest speakers in April. And now we're gonna move on to procedures for strengthening interpersonal relationships. And I have a couple ideas for that myself that I've been thinking about, um, but I was not the one that put that on the agenda. So whoever put that on the agenda, please take it away. and. I put number two on the agenda. I'm not sure who put number one on the agenda. Commissioner Brown Sparks did speak about that. Uh, yeah, Commissioner Brown Sparks just had already spoken about that. Do you want to add to it? Ash, do you have the paperwork? I do. I can pull that up for you. Is it in the packet? Yes. Thank you. It's really hard to turn my head. <clears throat> Where are we looking? Anti-oppressive decision-making framework. That's yes. number three. That's uh, number three. Thank you. Is there is there anything for number one? Conflict resolution. Yeah, the conflict resolution is number two. Right. I believe that's one. Uh, Commissioner Brown Sparks approached me about number one and number three. If those are to be combined, I, I don't 
And so let's, for the sake of getting through them, go, should we, I want to be collective in the decision making, that's for sure. Um, you want to take it away? Well, I would, yeah, I would move that um, in the in the interest of just getting through number seven, that we extend the meeting by 15 minutes. And that should allow us to get through the working agreements portion uh, today, because I don't think seven minutes is going to be enough to get through both of these documents. Yeah, I can't find them, but I agree with you. <laughs> oh, I see him. Um, any second to extend the meeting by 15 minutes? As long as it's just discussion and not voting, I think it's important because of the collectiveness of the topic that we have everybody present. In that case, I would like to continue and talk on number two. Yeah, let's so talk about it. I think it's important to have the conversation. So there's a motion on the table to extend by 15 minutes. Has there been a second? I'll second it. Okay. And, and um, any objections? I prefer to end on time um, at two, but I can stay if need be. I just prefer to end at two. So I vote no. You may have to take a vote. Uh, other people extending the meeting by 15 minutes for voting? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. So we're our it's four to one. Yep. Okay. Passes. Okay. So so then um which one should we do first? Number I guess number two is on the agenda. I think so yeah. because because Commissioner Brown Sparks already touched on the procedures for strengthening, and I don't see it in the packet unless I'm just missing. Yeah, I don't think it has in the company. Okay, so, so number two, uh, that was mine, and uh, this is the what's in your packet that just says conflict resolution at the top that has five numbers underneath it, um, and this is a continuation of the work that was begun in the conflict resolution working group, which we had um, several months ago in this committee and was dissolved mostly because we didn't have time to work on it. Um, and in that working group, we had agreed that we would like to draw up a procedure of conflict resolution to be added into our bylaws for future conflicts, since we have already experienced more than one conflict on this committee that have been resolved uh, using an external using this external group, um, so that we would have a fair procedure in place. Um, and so I took it upon myself as an individual to continue the work that was begun on this working group for the sake of this commission here. And I have laid out what I think we did discuss, which was following the method that was suggested to us by Black Lives Matter Bloomington. We had a speaker from them, and they suggested that, that one of the things they do to facilitate trust among members is required that if there is a conflict, um, that it is mediated successfully, and if the person doesn't decides not to, um, that there is some sort of sanction associated with that. And so I've simply written this up with the help of Ash. I would like to inter intervene on that. There was no sanctioning to the CJAM. Um, no, not CJAM. No. Black Lives Matter. Oh, they okay. actually they actually immediately removed members. They yes. said yes, that part. which is worse than a sanction. They actually immediately Remo immediate removal. Yeah. So I, this is slightly I just less CJAM um, and sanction at the same. This is less punitive because it would basically just mean if someone refuses in number five, if any member refuses to participate in mediation, that person and that person continues to hinder the functioning of the commission then any member may make a motion to recommend the removal and that is up for a vote by the entire commission. So it's, it's actually a lot less punitive than that one is. But yeah, so I took it upon myself. Um, I think this is highly necessary and would welcome any questions or comments on it.
I know that in watching um, city council meetings, there's a often a five to four difference and um, they don't get along. The five don't get along with the four and the four don't get along with the five. Mm -hmm. So it's a very common thing to have happen. Um, and I think it's important to be able to continue to do the work, um, even if we don't, if we're not all just buddies, you know. Um, so as long as the work is getting done, I think it's the, the most important thing. Um, like today, being able to pass something that I was not necessarily in complete agreement with, I found a way forward to make it work for the commission as a whole uh, and voted for it after more clarity about it. So um, so that makes sense. I, I'm not game on voting people in and out of our commission. That's not our job. And it shouldn't be. Just to clarify, this wouldn't vote anyone off the commission. It would vote to recommend to the governing body, the common council, right, to remove a member. And I'm not for I, and I'm not I'm not sure I agree with that either. That's like uh, because um, that would be like saying one council member doesn't doesn't think that they're getting anywhere with what they want or not what they want, but then all of a sudden they can remove somebody. I I, I just don't think that's helpful in in debatable um, governing. Just to clarify, that actually is not what this says. So the only way someone could even be up for that sort of a vote is if A, they refuse to participate in mediation as requested by another member, and they had continued to hinder the functioning of the commission, or B, if they have already been in two or more mediations, uh, that were deemed to have merit and they continue to hinder the functioning of the commission. So it's not simply anyone for any reason can do this. Can do it. And again, it. it would be based on a majority of the commission. So one person would not have the power to remove another member. So is it and or or and and? I haven't read it. I didn't have, I haven't read it. I'm going to take it home with me. Um, and uh, I always need a little bit more time to absorb yeah, things. So you can't really just For get me, this did, stuff and just go, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna agree to it. <laughs> so is it and or or both of those items when you were writing this? Was that, what were you thinking? It, what is what is is what and and or and or oh it's and it's okay, not it's an and it's okay. and it's okay. not work that's yeah. that was my only if question if they have refused to participate mediate so basically all of it is contingent on the member continuing to hinder the function of the commission I'm really familiar and they must that. have also either already participated in two mediations right or refused to participate in at least one mediation got it thank you yeah i I'm a member of Black Lives Matter Bloomington, so I'm real familiar with their, their way of doing it. I just wanted to make sure we were, what you had written here, I was clear about. So, and we're not going to be following exactly what they do, and they don't tell everybody exactly what they do unless you're a member. Uh, they share some, but not all. So thank you for that. I'm gonna have to look at it a little bit further. Um, we're we wanting to vote on this today or just bring it Yeah, um, I was hoping to. I know me personally, I would like to, I don't know we only have 15 minutes, but I'd really like to read it before mm -hmm. voting on it. Is that possible to push? Sure, let's I take don't, the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what we And want. I would like to um, table this for the vote until all of us are here. I think it's a really important topic a very important topic and I'm guessing I'm gonna vote for it, but I need to read it all and I need more time than feeling really super, I, I feel a little rushed to being able to read it and 
absorb it and also come up with maybe some amendments to it um, if there are any. Um, so are you voting to table it? I'm, I'm making percent? a suggestion. I'm opening up conversation. That's all. We're just having a conversation. So, so I yes. yes, and she just asked, and I said I was just trying to make a, have a conversation about some reasons why I'm thinking for me it would be beneficial to wait. And I heard you say yeah, like yeah. I would just like a chance to pull it. I, if we're going to take the next 15 minutes for me to read it, that's fine. But that doesn't. Uh, I would just can we? I like that it was brought forward. But I would just is there any way to have the chance to read it and vote on it at the next meeting, or is this something that you're passionate about and wanting to get done today, I guess? I guess we also have other things on the agenda. And so that's what I, we already extended it, so I, I don't mind ahead. taking the time to sit in here real quick, but. I'd rather vote on it today, if we can read it. And I'm going to then make a motion that we table it until next time. So that is a motion because I, I'm going to feel rushed to, to do that, and I won't be able to vote for something I can't fully understand, and I might want to, because my my brain needs more time. And in the past, people have said, "Hey, we know we're not gonna, we're going to give you that time." So I'm going to um, make a motion to table until the next meeting. Is there anybody who wants to second that I'll, before we take a vote? I'll, before we take a vote. I, I will second your motion to have more time. Thank you. Okay. Are there any uh, objections to having more time? I have an objection. Okay. Anybody else object? Okay. So it goes to a voice vote. Um, do you have any objections to having more time? No objections. I would actually like the time to read it. Agree with that. Okay. And that is. So. <laughs> You're asking for a voice vote on the motion for more time. You're right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Brown Sparks, um, we're voting on whether or not we can table this till the next um, meeting. Do you vote yes or no? Did we lose her? We'll come back to her. Do we? Oh, there you are. I'm just asking for more time. I think uh, Commissioner, I, our new commissioner, is also asking for a little more time. He said he would read it, actually. Right. I, I've but, just seen how long everything takes. I would think that would <laughs> take too much time. So uh, is there any way we could do time. just? I'm trying to get a vote. I'm trying to use the time in a timely manner, and I've asked. And so I'm going to ask you do you have any objections to giving more time and tabling this until next week, uh, Commissioner, or next month, Commissioner McCullough? Uh, so it's, it's the motion. It's right? the motion for table. So whether we should. Yes, we're so, just talking about having more time to read this before we vote on it, these things, these items. That's all we're doing. Um, it's take a month. It's going to take you a month to read this. We could also extend the meeting another fifteen minutes. I can't do that. I can wait fifteen minutes. We've already extended 15. So right now there's a motion and there's a vote going on. So hang on just a minute before we go further. We have to finish one vote before we go on to some other procedural thing. Uh, so whether or not we can second, I'm gonna vote no for table Okay. And so what are you what do you want to do? Do you I mind if we have more time, time to look at these before we take a vote? I didn't hear what he said yeah so the so the motion on the table is whether will we table the vote on the conflict resolution until next meeting um, and then so and then i said no, no. To table it. 
So it's two. It's two to two right now. A motion to fix the time which to adjourn uh, takes precedence, and Robert will support her over a motion um, to postpone a certain time. Um, so I, I don't. Someone mentioned. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So That's good to know. I, I thought we had to finish one thing before we went on oh, to another. Right. So that takes precedence over. So I was looking at the chart here. So maybe that is not that heard. If someone made that, but we are also in mid vote. So what do you do with that? She just said that they were being said that it takes precedence, right? So over even mid vote. I said no. Okay. Can we just vote it now? Okay. So I'm going to. Okay. So 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 it's already three to two. I'm going to. Um, make a motion that we vote on this then, because that's what was just said. Or do we need to go ahead and extend the meeting first? Uh, I've made a motion to extend the meeting. Yeah, we better do that minutes. first. We better do that first. Is there a second? Um, Cami seconded. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, again. Now you ask if there's any objections or take a voice vote. Any objections? I object. I have to leave, and I'm chairing the meeting, so that means you might have to chair the vote. Okay. So I say I can't stay longer um, than the next seven minutes. But I think if we do this quickly, we might be able to get through it. So, Commissioner Brown Sparks, yeah. do you want to extend 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay. And would you also like to so yeah, would you like to extend? Yes, I'd like to take 15 minutes to read it real quick. I'm gonna have to have that time too. And yes, I, I know you're a yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're extending. Um it's gonna be quiet time, hopefully. Yeah, just a five, ten minutes. <laughs> I just saw the typo that you pointed out. I can't think if you're talking. Yeah, would you mind giving me just a little quiet so I can think? Thank you. You wrote it, so you know what it says. Thanks.
Are we just reading this one page? For this just one page? Mm -hmm. For this one thing? Okay. Thompson, are you finished reading? Yeah, yeah. I before his questions, I just want to point out there was one typo in paragraph one that Ash actually pointed out to me this morning uh, that where there's a comma after the word mediation that should say who requests mediation or is a party to a conflict instead of a comma. In case that was going to be what some people's questions were about. No, um, that wasn't my question. Uh, you want to go first? Yeah, just one little nice. clarification um, for the recommendation removal. Who decides what's considered a hindrance to the commit to the commission? Um, is it just mm -hmm. continued disruption? Um, for me, I would just like some clarity of how that's decided. Um, yeah, did you have that's a, I mean that? that's a good question. I specifically decided to like leave that open to members' interpretation, so that would be open to. The me any members who think that this person is hindering the functioning of the commission. So it would be that they've asked for mediation, and then if all it takes is one person to think they're the other person being a hindrance to do that? Yes. And then it takes a majority vote to recommend removal. Okay. So, I mean, the majority vote is really the determining factor. After the mediation, though, right? Well, it's either after two mediations. And they're continuing it to hinder, or after one refusal. So, what is the definition of hindering? Well, that that's what I was just saying. Is that would be open to anyone's interpretation, right? And that's that could be dangerous, I think, in the interpretation of it, because let's say, let's say Jason and I, for instance, last week we we had a conflict, and then Jason and I came back together and we talked, and we. I think came to a really good place where we were both having some person interpersonal issues. He was having some, and I was having some. I'm not going to share his. Hopefully, he won't share mine. But I think did we not? Yeah. Do okay with that. But then, in terms of process, then if I contacted CJ to right. say, right, Commissioner Miller and I are having problems, then CJ could say. Well, did you talk to her about that? Right. So see right. can refuse the mediation if they don't mm -hmm. feel it's necessary. right. So I guess what I'm saying is is um, that wouldn't rise to the occasion of needing anything unless I said, you know, I I'm just really not happy with the way that went. I'm gonna contact C Jam. Mm -hmm. And then if he doesn't agree to it or, or the other way around. Well, first of all, if you contact CJAM, they need to decide the case has merit. Yes, I know. Uh, I know. And right. if then if they decided the case did have merit and Jason refused to engage in mediation, then you could put the vote to the commission, which would require right. a majority of commissioners right. to decide that the person was should indeed be removed for hindering the functioning of the commission. Right. Yeah. So the vote is the deciding of that it's it is. It's a vote, yeah. And so it's, it's perfectly left open, the, open the injury part, so that you know we can all use our just our discretion whether someone's hindering the commission. I'm hoping I feel like you and I did well with that after we worked through whatever was going on in your personal life and what obviously was going on with mine, with the losing of my dog. That was that was horrible. But so are your things. Yeah. So, but, so that, but that, the way we worked through that, coherent with this, because that didn't hinder the function of the commission. That was one conflict, and then we resolved We resolved it, yeah. So to, to tie back to what Kami said in her initial report, is that interpersonal, we first need to talk to each other, right? Right, um, right. But then if it moves beyond that, it continues to hinder. So that was part, of, I'd like to, I'd like to okay. have a letter. Yeah, no, I, I was just, that was my one thing. I was like, I, I, I guess it makes sense that the full commission would, you could feel personally feel that it's a hindrance and then you right. bring it to the commission and then they would either vote that it would agree with you or not. That makes sense. So can we amend, yeah, procedural question. Can we amend or strike something and still vote on it today? Yeah. Okay. So I first don't know if we won't, I, I would like to talk about uh, paragraph three, where it says free or at low cost, 
it seems contradictory because then the last sentence is under no circumstances should the commissioners pay for related mediation services. Can we strike the low cost and just say mm -hmm. be free and strike sure. low cost? I think that sounds great. Does anyone have objections to that? Yeah. Is the only uh, the, so if no so the has done it for free. Right. And right. if no commissioner should pay for it, then if it's low mm -hmm. if we and were to find the low cost. says that if they do require funds, we should get them. So it's still it's yeah. still covered. Still yeah. covered is free. So we can yeah. So yeah. So seeing no or do I have a motion that we strike um or I'll second or low cost? Okay, yeah, I didn't I'll second it. it. Okay, so um do I see any um, disagreement with that? Striking those two words as or at low cost. It's the only two were three words. Seeing none, that motion carries, so we strike that. So I'd also like to make a motion to fix the typo, to change the <laughs> comma in paragraph one after mediation I'll to the word I'll or. Second, I'll second that. Do we have any objections to that? No objections. Seeing none, that motion carries. Um, and then I had a question, um, and I think actually you kind of asked it, and we covered it, but just let me make sure. Um, a motion to recommend removal is debatable. Um, so where does that debate take place? Is it in private or as the commission as a whole in your understanding? Because to me, we're asking, we would be asking the whole commission to vote to kick out, kick out me, for example. Uh, and if we ask everybody and everybody wants to kick me out, we have to do that as a commission as a whole in public, correct? Or wouldn't that just go up to the governing body? It would be debatable and amendable. So yes, it would be debatable in a commission meeting. Right, and then taken to and then that the just and that just yeah, you're not voting to kick anyone out. You're voting right to recommend, to recommend the to common recommend. council to yeah. remove a member for cause. Right, and so that's the language that they use in the common council. Okay, right. people for cause. And could we amend this to somehow say, I don't know, this is procedural for sure that we have all members of the commission present for such a vote. I, I think it's because that. it's such a serious matter. Not if, you not, want... that, not if the reason that you're trying to remove the person is that they never show up. Yeah. The other thing is that, I mean, people are going to get sick and you may have a whole year where there's one member present for, I mean, missing for an entire year and, you know, work needs to get done regardless. So I... I wouldn't support that. I mean, I say, sorry, as written, majority vote implies majority. Majority. Not all the seats, but everyone who is seated. Is seated. So um, even. I think it's important to have the people that are seated, unless there's, because then you would just let it go through the process of removal. If, let's say, somebody is not showing up, like you're saying, which we've had that happen a couple times, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, Commissioner Brown's works. Yeah, more than once. <laughs> so anyway, that so if that already means that we don't need to amend anything. So um, anyway, having said that, I've had time to have my questions answered. Um, I'm still leaning on the side of um, uh, having Commissioner forward here for this vote. Um, and I reached out during the break to her. Should just be this one. And it's just this one class that has been extended today. So she won't have to miss next month. But we still want you to, I still would like to see your video. But hopefully you can tag out a couple more times. Anyway, um, all right, moving on. Everybody okay with that discussion? Any more discussion? Okay, we already voted not to table this. 
So I won't add nauseam to everybody. Um, did we have a motion? To pass this? Is that right? It's already on the table. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's on, on the table. table. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're voting on that. So we need a second, I guess. I'll second. Okay. Okay. I, uh, I'm going to abstain, although I think it's good in theory and in work. I would like to couple it with uh, Cammy, uh, Commissioner Brown Sparks ideas because I might we might want to amend it some more. I think it's really a really good start and thank you for the work, uh, Commissioner Ratson. So I'm going to abstain from voting for that reason only. I think it's important we get a process in place, and I think we're well on our way. I think we could couple it with some of the anti-oppressive decision-making framework, and I had some ideas that we're not going to have time to um, get to that are also kind of, well, they're in this vein, and the conflict uh, resolution of understanding, exploring, communicating, re-engaging, and contemplating. If we never re-engage with someone, then I don't think we can move forward to work in a good way together. And so I'd like to see that somehow put into some document where we purposefully try to engage with the other person and try to work together, if that makes sense and not uh, avoidance. So, because I think avoidance creates more problems than helping. So that's going to be the reason for my abstention today, because I'd like to see more than less when we're putting together procedures. That's my vote to abstain for now and work further on it. It's great work so far. Uh, I will vote yes. I vote yes. I will vote yes as well. Thanks. Are you? Yes. You voted yes. Okay. That motion carries. So I would like to figure out what do we do to want to add to this then? Because I think there's some things that are kind of would be helpful to add to it. Anyone want to help me with that discussion a little bit? And maybe. Motion. Is that how that I don't know. So, the way that we have is at this point, I think that the conflict resolution working agreement has been adopted 401. It has. So, we added it to the bylaws. Yeah, it's the bylaws. Okay. Um, so, and then the other motions. I didn't hear it to add to the bylaws, but it makes sense to add them to bylaws. It's, it's, yeah, it's a document for procedures. Um, I believe the motion to amend would have been appropriate if you wanted to amend substantively for the section. Would have been prior to that vote. When you were amending the, the, the other, okay. Okay. Right. The word before I cost. Okay. I mean, okay. Frida, Frida didn't make a motion to do it in another meeting to amend it. Right. Yeah. He didn't like it. So if you'd like to have that be on the agenda the next time to revisit it and rework it. It's it's such a simple five step thing that works for many people with conflict resolution. And I think it worked really well um, recently. Um, so, the only thing I wanted to make sure to point out is, and I think Commissioner Ross can explain this, but also the, the recommendation in number five um, would be a recommendation to the Wilmington County Council. So, right. it's right. the time to decide for itself. You, know, you can go through this whole process and the Wilmington County Council and say, we're not going to listen to yeah. it. Right. Um, so, just keeping that in mind with other options, you might possibly get the product in the last. Teachers um, that end up not going anywhere because they're really not going to stay. Right. So, um, okay. that's the only caution to the staff. Um, and you know, you can always make a motion to recommend removal 
for a specific reason at any time, and that would go to the council, and the council would still right. accept. So right. These, these five steps would, would probably help someone's case to show that there is four cause for removal. Right. You don't have to have that to ask the council for to remove someone's four cause. Thank you. So, for the sake of time, we have extended now a half hour, and we are now at one minute. So, I tried my best to do time management. I found it very difficult for today to do time management with this uh, agenda. Um, so, we're going to welcome our guest speakers next week. Um, other business we're going to wait on. Um, because we don't have time for it. And uh, it's sad, I'm sorry we didn't get to it because there's some really important things on it. Um, and then topics for future agendas, I would err on the side of caution for the next meeting, simply because we have a guest speaker uh, and we want to make sure to be able to get questions to both of our guest speakers. Um, and give them the opportunity to share what they want to share. Um, and then we also tabled some things. So that's going to go under old business. So maybe, hopefully, I, with caution, not adding a whole lot to the next one, we might go get through the whole agenda. Okay. Thank you guys so much for being so helpful. My first meeting. Welcome. Yeah, I, you did a great job. Me. We need a motion to adjourn. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting. Any objections? Seeing none, adjourned.